Hey, Internet. Uh, so, feeling very nerdy. A um, couple of things. I, uh, I got one of these. So, uh, apparently these are for, like, six-year-olds, maybe. Um, that, uh, it's basically some kind of trainer, so it's like a first-layer trainer. Anyway, um, I thought it was interesting because it allows you, it blacks out some of the, um, you know, I saw some, like, TikToks and stuff of some people who had similar stuff, and so I'm, I'm trying to find it. Uh, anyway, this, I don't even know if this is the right thing. But anyway, this is like uh, something to help teach someone the first layer. So um, anyway, I guess I could kind of go through it real quick. That I uh, <clears throat> I went to sleep early and then woke up because I had like two full cycles. So now I'm up in the middle of the night. It sucks. Um, yay. Uh, so anyway, let me see if my brain's even on right now. Um, it's got all the sides except for uh, yellow is actually black. So basically it should just be the bottom layer solved. Um, let's see if I can remember how I would want to do it. I guess you could just use your uh, traditional um, create a daisy back here, which would be the, we're gonna try and solve the white side, right? Um, so that would be there, oops, there and then um, there we go. I got this, I, I also got this because, uh, I wanted to, um, help my mom be able to kind of visualize it a little better. So I feel like with it blacked out, it kind of helps you a little bit. Because basically you get your daisy, right? This would be like yellow opposite white, right? And then you line up the side edges. And then at that point you can rotate them around. Anyway, it just kind of helps you visualize lining it up and rotating it. And then we're gonna see, line up orange and then rotate it. And then we're gonna line up red and rotate it. And then when it comes over, um, it should be a cross. And there it is, there's the cross. All right, and then you solve your corners. And there's a bunch of different ways to solve your corners. Obviously there's like some really fast, super speedy ways to do it. But the easiest way is, um, I also like to remove these out of the corners. So they're all up there. And then you, uh, you just up and over, down and back. And like basically there's uh, the, the algorithm, the nerdy algorithm. Um, so up would be an R, over would be a, uh, I think is that U prime, I can't remember, and then down would be R prime, and then uh, back would be U. I think that's how it would go. I'm, I don't like the algorithm thing, it's very confusing. I just like saying up and over, down and back, because that's very simple. Anywho, so you get these corner pieces over... So white, green, and orange. So it's now over the right corner. And you go up and over, down and back. And you just do it until it lines up. And three turns and now it's in the right spot. Okay, and then we move this over red, white, and blue. And we'll pull down here. And you can do it. What I notice is if, uh, if this color is matched, and the cross color is on the side, um, you can basically, it's an easier way. So you can do that up and over, down and back on either side, and you can kind of judge which is the more efficient way to do it, right? And then we'll do blue, line it up. And so match up the blue side, it would be faster to do it, you know, on this side. And there you go, now we've got the whole Side solve rude. Uh, I also got this uh, to see if I could figure out or help me visualize uh, some of the F2 or F, what is it? F2L, is that it? The second layer. Because um, there's ways to move two of them into place. 
And so that's what I've been working on, uh, is trying to visualize um, solving two pieces at the same time rather than just solving one piece at the same time. So for example, I don't even know if I can do it. I'm just kind of getting the hang of it. Yeah, because I've like gone super nerdy. But um, like for example, orange cross on the bottom. And there's all these algorithms and stuff and I, I hate it because uh, it's just so not the way, I just don't think in algorithms. Um, but anyway, so you would take white, green, orange. So that's above where I want it. And then I need white and green. And I don't know where white and green is. White and green is over here. So I need to basically lift it up and get it going. So for example, and what's hard about this is uh, you have to like lock and unlock the cross at the bottom. And so, cause if you mess up the bottom, then you're just, you're just spinning around in circles. So it's terrible. But anyway, so this would be, uh, this would be some kind of, I can't remember what they call this. It's like a mirror, it's mirrored or something. I can't remember, but basically it's, um, you've got your, that's wrong. No, I'm, I'm wrong. Hold on. This is, um, non-matching. Okay. So this is your cross color, which is down here. And then this is your front color and this is your right side color. So um, basically you, you have to manipulate this to get these in place. And so it should be pretty easy because basically if I push this one here, then these two white bits should line up and these two green bits should line up, right? So if I just do one little twist like that, now these two are lined up. Thing is, is now I've lost this part of my cross. So what I have to do is I have to, this is where it gets kind of hard. You gotta kind of figure out a way to get this over here so you can bring the cross back down. It's actually kind of easy. You just rotate the top and then bring it back into place. And now, oh, there it is. So you, I've solved those two at the same time. Uh, anyway, there's like, apparently there's five uh, cases. It sounds like, it literally sounds like a lawsuit. Uh, all of the nerds who do this. Um, there's got to be an easier way to communicate and explain this because it just feels needlessly complicated. Uh, um, it's, I feel like it's a bunch of um, socially awkward people um, trying to communicate with other people who are um, already a bit socially awkward or socially awkward people trying to communicate with people who just have no patience for the gobbledygook. And that's probably why a lot of people get turned off by uh, how cool the cube can be or how fun it can actually be. Anyway, uh, stay curious. Um, maybe that was helpful, I don't know. Uh, like, subscribe, follow, save the droids, uh, notification bell, all that YouTube nonsense. Um, and uh, let, let us know what you're thinking about uh, all the shows. There was a Star Wars celebration, so that was kind of fun and nerdy. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole with that, but uh, at some point I probably will. All right, uh, that's good enough. Peace.